ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, attacks the nerve cells that control muscle movement, causing muscles to waste away. This fatal disease affects folks in the prime of life. That's what happened to Phil Kelleher. He's a former firefighter from Cherry Valley. And uh, Phil, thanks for being with us. We, we met you last year you were here. We, we did a little piece on you, and uh, you're back. And you're one of the folks that we talk about uh, without a face often and actually is one of the folks who received something from the MDA. What? Tell me about MDA. What have they done for you? Well, I think all day you've heard about clinics and services, but for me, the um, nice thing about MDA was for my kids. Uh, we've been attending several events, and it's given them a sense that we're not in this fight alone that um, we have help out there other than just the tangibles that you've heard about all day. What kind of help are we talking about? What do they actually do for you? Uh, well, for me personally, um, I am seen at UCI at one of the neuromuscular clinics. They assist in uh, acquiring wheelchairs and other durable goods. Um, and just the support and the personal service that they deliver when they bring you into their family. It's with open arms and they're there for you 24 seven. So they kind of give you, they kind of give you a little hope. They kind of give you something to look forward to. And I, I, I would imagine, you tell me, I imagine that's pretty important in, in your life right now. Uh, it, it's very important and uh, again, for my kids, it just gives them a sense of purpose um, and, you know, kind of a, a goal, something to work for. And if you had, could say something to the folks out there to, uh, to spur them to pick up the telephone, what would you say? Uh, just take a look at my kids and um, the battles that they face um, and just our day to day kids are uh, brett and tyler and uh, your wife missy there and i i know it's got to be tough for everybody and you know when we uh, first met uh, phil last year he was uh, he was still active as a firefighter and uh, you were a chief weren't you at the at, at Bronx? Morongo. Morongo, and Morongo, uh band of uh of indians mission indians, mission indians. and since then you've, you've had to retire right yes sir uh last november 1st uh, I had to uh, um, go ahead and step down. And uh, then you turned to MDA, and I guess they've been right there to help you. Correct. All right. Thank you very much, Phil. We wish you luck and the rest of the family, and uh, you're one of the, the faces we can actually put to a story. We thank you for coming. Thank you. All right.